Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make um, pretty much another password protecting uh, code, but this time in a VBS instead of a batch file. Um, you can basically put this on your system startup so that when it requests the second password for whoever logs in because you know there's many ways to hack into other user accounts on computers so it's good to have a second password so that if you have any files you don't want your other friends or family having that use your computer it, they can't get it because they need this password first so here's this one is longer than my batch file one so what I'm going to say is uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the code in the description so you can just grab it out of the description but I'll, if you want to see it it's right here for the video just let me make it bigger for you um... And you can just copy this down onto a notepad notepad can be found at start run notepad.exe just type in notepad.exe and click ok or you can go to start all programs accessories and a notepad then what you want to do is you want to type this in exactly how it is onto a notepad and after that um, what you would do is oh by the way you can just pause it right here because I'm not going to leave it here too long I like to keep the video short but if you need to see it pause it right here otherwise the code should be on the side then what you would do is you go to file go to save as and pick where you want to save it save it as whatever you want it to be um dot vbs and then save it um so whatever you want so for example i named it password period vbs um if you if you want to change the password from what i have it set to here where i wrote, wrote pass right in here on the script you change that to what you want the password to be this part here is what you want it to say for example please enter your password that part is right here please enter your password okay if you get the wrong password this message box will come up saying that you have the wrong password okay if you get the wrong password this vbs will actually log you off your user account my other batch file didn't do that it just kept asking you to enter another password that's why some people prefer this plus it adds visual interest but anyway if you type in the correct one and you get this. Also, if you want to edit what that second box says, it says welcome, you can edit that right inside these quotations. Do that, save as file, go to files, save as, save it as whatever you want it to be, period VBS. Save it, and then open it, and you should be able to get this exact same thing. And then what you can do is if you want to put that on your startup, you go to my computer. You get a, see your default drive, documents and settings, pick your user, then go start start menu, programs and start up, and then add it in the file just like that, drag and drop, and it's in, and when you restart your computer or log on, it will launch that okay that's pretty much it if you wanna if you if this isn't working for you tr maybe try my batch file that kills explorer.exe it's in my other video kills explorer.exe and it asks you for a password and if you don't it'll keep asking you in, for a password until you get it when you get it it brings back explorer.exe and you can use your computer you put that on startup and, and it, it'll make it so no one can use your computer until they get that password so think about them I'm gonna I'm done with um, basic batch files and VBS like this but I'm gonna act, people are requesting that I start doing stuff that they can have more fun with like uh, fake virus stuff and stuff like that so I'm gonna start doing those type of things so if you're interested in that come check to make sh sure I don't have any videos that you could use um, I love comments and if video quality is bad just tell me and I'll try I'll try to do my best to find something better